Today I'm going to show you how to make some awesome custom shapes combining the brush tool and the pen tool. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're doing something really cool. We've got an image from a buddy of ours, Flurn family member, Quintino, who submitted this image in last week's contest. And just because we're editing it, you win a Flurn Pro for free. So just send us an email and we're going to send you a free Flurn Pro. If you guys want your images to be edited on Flurn, just submit it. We have a contest every single Monday and that is your chance to do it. We're making some really cool custom shapes today and it's kind of like drawing an idea from the actual photograph. We're going to be using the pen tool, we're going to be using the brush tool, probably some stuff you've never seen before. Unless you've been watching Flurn for a really long time, then you probably have seen this stuff before. But either way, it's going to be really cool. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's our image uh, by, again, Quintino, and uh, it's really cool. I like this uh, Reka small batch vodka. Looks pretty delicious. <laughs> and, um, I like your use of uh, like gems and things like that on the bottom. I think it totally works, and uh, the blues and the reds together I think really work as well. Now, one of the things that I really do like about this, the thing that I think kind of stands out here is this guy. It looks almost like a heartbeat. You know how like you go like boop, boop, whatever like that. Um, it looks like a heartbeat, and I don't know if that makes any sense for a liquor ad, but it does look kind of cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a few more of them, and uh, then we're going to scatter them in this image and make it look really great. So I like this, and I like how, like the horizontal movement here. I don't like how it's coming back right over here. This to me is pretty distracting. So we're going to we're going to stretch that out and take care of that. Not really that hard to do. So to do so, let's just duplicate our background layer. Hit Command J on our background layer. Now, I want to make a selection over here, uh, basically selecting out these light streaks. So I'm going to hit M for my marquee tool. Let's go ahead and make a selection right over there. Looks pretty good. Now, I don't want this edge to be su super hard because if I do decide to stretch it out, which is what we're going to do, you're going to get like a little bit of an edge there. So we want to blur this edge a little bit. To do so, the best way, in my opinion, is to hit Q for the quick mask, which is going to show uh, basically your selection as not having red on it, and the rest of it is going to have red. So if you want to get out of that, hit Q again. So Q is your quick mask, and then I'm going to go to a Gaussian blur, and then you can actually see the blur on your selection. The reason I like this more than, you know, going up to select and then like, you know, feather edge or something like that, is you can't actually see what you're getting. So like you might choose a radius that's a little bit lower than you actually want. So this is why I like to do it. Q for the quick mask, then run a Gaussian blur, hit OK, hit Q again, and now you've got a feathered selection, which is really cool. Okay, now we're just going to get rid of this stuff, and all this is going to mean is we're going to stretch it to the right. So we're going to hit Command T, and that's going to bring up our transform dialog. Then I'm going to grab this right side slider here and just pull that onto the right, just like that, and hit Enter when you're done. Command D will deselect. So there we can see we don't have a hard edge where we made that selection because it was feathered out. Just a little bit better of a way to do that. Okay, so we're just kind of preparing our background a little bit more. You could stretch it out further if you wanted to, but we don't really need to. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is grab the pen tool. Now, the pen tool, a lot of people have, um, you know, <laughs> they have it in their heads that the pen tool is evil. I promise it's not. It's really not even that hard to use. Um, you just need someone to show you how to do it. So that's what we'll do right here. So I'm going to grab my pen tool, P for the pen tool. All you have to do, we're just going to make a shape that looks similar to that, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to click here on the left. You know what? I can just create a new layer. I'll just create a new white layer so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, this is not important part of the step. This is to show you guys the points that I'm making. So I'm going to click here and drag to the right because I want like a line coming from the left to the right. Then I'm going to click here and drag to the right a little bit. Now I want this to kind of go up, right? So now I'm just going to click up and kind of drag down. That's going to create me a little peak there. Now I want it to go back down, right? So I'm going to click here and drag back up. And then I'm going to click here and drag down. And then we're going to do that. So for everyone who says the pen tool is hard to use, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with you. I, th I think it's really easy to use. So um, that is all we need to do with the pen tool there. And if you do want to ever change these things at any point in time, hold down the Control or the Alt or the Option key. So Control, and I can click on this, and I can move this around. How easy is that? Not too bad, right? There we go. I can click and move that around. If I want to move this closer to get more of like a horizontal line, I can do that too. If I want to move this out here, there we go. Hold down Control or Command and click on Out. There we go. Pretty cool. And let's just make that one a little bit smaller. I'm just playing around at this point. It really doesn't matter what these look like. Okay, so that is our pen path there. You can see, not too difficult. And um, now we've got 
you know, what looks like a little little heartbeat. We can actually just, if you want to change your like markers just a little bit, there we go. That looks a little bit more natural, right? And let's just bring that to coming in. Okay, so there's a little heartbeat shape. We could just delete this layer uh, because I only put it on there so we can see what we're doing. Yes, delete that layer. I hate you. I don't ever want to see you again. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our path and we can actually click on our work path here and I can hit Command T and move this around and things like that that I wanted. Now, I don't really need to move it around. That's not the point. What we're going to do is we're going to stroke this path with a brush. You'll notice the really cool thing about light rays and a lot of organic shapes is they'll start off small, they'll get big, and then they'll get small again, right? That's pretty hard to do just with your hand or with a mouse, but you can do this using this technique that I'm about to show you. So we've got our path. Next thing I want to do, I'm just going to choose a regular brush. So B for the brush tool. We're going to paint with white, and I'm going to make a brush that's about, you know, about as thick as that. There we go. Something like that. And that looks pretty good. So that's it. It's just a soft, round brush. We've got our hardness about 47% and our size at 12. This is, that will change depending on what you're trying to do, but that's what we're using here. Okay, so that's it. Just choose a brush that you like. Then go back to your paths right over here. And I'm going to right click on this path. I'm going to say stroke path. Now this is the coolest part. I'm going to stroke this path using, you can choose a tool, using your brush. The next cool thing you can do is you can have it simulate pressure. So we're going to turn that on and it's going to start it off really small. It's going to get bigger and then it's going to get small again. So we're going to hit okay there. And let's just click down here and see what we've got of our brush now. So basically on our layer, it created this. Let's just create a new layer and I'm going to fill this with black and put that under there so you guys can see. So this is what we have now. Look at that really cool shape that we made. Um, that was our pen path that we just, we selected that out, just grabbed a brush, and then you right click right on that shape and go to stroke path, which is cool. Now, if I want to make another one, let's just go on a new layer here, and maybe I want my brush to be a little bit bigger then, just make your brush bigger, click on your work path, right click, go to stroke path, hit okay. Oh, you know what, I chose my color as uh, white. It, my color was black, that's why it did not show up. Okay, so let's go back to our paths. Here, right click and stroke path. There we go. So now we've got a bigger shape. Pretty cool. We can do the same thing again. Let's just go back. We'll create another layer. Paths, same path. Now we're gonna make it using a really small brush. So it's, it's super simple. Stroke path, hit okay. And there we have got a really small brush. So we've got a couple different variations. Let's just make that invisible or I'll just show you guys the couple variations that we have. So we have thick all the way down to very thin. Pretty cool. You can use these different ones. I don't, the thick one uh, just looks weird to me. So we won't use it and we're gonna delete that black layer. Now we're just gonna kind of alter these a little bit and then we'll be good to go. So you can see this guy has like a little bit of a glow on it, right? What's going on here? That's kind of like a little glow. That's not that hard to do. All you have to do, let's just bring it down there so we can see. We just double click on this layer go to outer glow which is right down there we'll just change our color to something like this looks pretty good let's change our spread size a little bit there we go and now we've got a nice outer glow right on our layer which is pretty cool right so we're going to hit okay there and now we've got the outer glow you can turn that off and on now the next thing i want to do i'm just going to hit command j on that and hit, hit command t i'm going to make like a smaller version of it and then lower on my opacity quite a bit. There we go. And that's just gonna be like, you can see here it's like a little bit faint. Uh, there's some like weird artifacts and things like that in those areas. So that's what we're gonna do there. Um, and then next, I'm just playing around now, but if you wanna make like a soft edge brush, I'm just kind of trying to duplicate some of these. See how there's like a little bit of a glow there, like a little bit maybe paused there. Uh, you can do that same thing. Just grab your brush, paint a little bit um, on there, and then hold the alt or the option just copy the layer effects from one to the other, and there we go. So now I'm just painting like literally with my brush tool, just like giving it a little bit less like perfectness. <laughs> That's not a word, do, do not quote me on that, please. I'm making it a little bit less perfect or whatever, and what that's, it's just gonna make it look a little bit more like, hey, maybe he didn't just do that in Photoshop. We'll see. Maybe it will still just look like that, but it doesn't matter anyway, because it's, we're just creating weird effects today. Okay, let's shift click those and hit Command G. And now we've got a group that is one of these pulses. It's pretty sick, I think. Let's just zoom out and now we figure out where we wanna put this. Kind of right over there, looks pretty cool, right? 
maybe up a little bit higher. And you can make a few of these because they're in a group. Just hit Command J on the group. That'll duplicate the group. And you can hit Command T to just transform everything in the entire group. There we go. And let's just rotate that around so it kind of catches, catches that line that was already going there. Command J again. We'll just put another one right up here. Command T to make that a little bit smaller. All right, and we'll just rotate that right around there. Cool, and there we've got it kind of like going on with these. So it, they look like strings that have been like vibrated or whatever have you. Um, it really didn't take too long. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, using some really special tools and a combination, a little bit of imagination, we came up with that. So here's what we started with. Remember, we changed that background, and then we made these things of our own. And that's where we're ending with. Just a little bit of imagination, some layer effects, some cool tips using the pen tool and the brush tool. Are you guys into making custom shapes and all kinds of fun special effects swirling around people? You can do the same type of thing just like this. I can't wait to see your effects. Leave them in a comment down below, please. I would love to see them. I'll learn you later. I didn't know what to say for the outro. I just said I'll learn you later. Is that okay? Is that? It wasn't that funny, but I guess it works. For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.